Module 7 to 2 P-E Ratio and Market Cycles, adjusting your investment strategy based on the P-E ratio during different market phases can help you navigate changing market conditions and potentially capitalize on opportunities. Here are some considerations for adjusting your investment strategy based on the P-E ratio during different market phases, bull market phase, high P-E ratios, focus on quality. During a bull market phase with high P-E ratios, it's important to focus on quality companies with strong fundamentals, sustainable competitive advantages, and proven track records. Look for companies that can justify their premium valuations with consistent earnings growth and positive outlooks. Seek growth opportunities. Identify companies with high P-E ratios driven by strong growth prospects. Assess their ability to sustain growth in the long term the scalability of their business models, and their competitive positioning. Consider investing in sectors or industries with positive growth trends. Diversify your portfolio. As valuations rise, diversification becomes crucial to manage risk. Spread your investments across different sectors, asset classes, and geographies. This can help protect your portfolio from sector-specific risks and reduce the impact of any potential market downturn, transition phase, changing P-E ratios, monitor valuations, during market transitions. P-E ratios may fluctuate as market sentiment changes. Monitor the overall market P-E ratio, as well as sector-specific and individual stock P-E ratios. Keep an eye on any significant deviations from historical averages or industry benchmarks, adjust allocation, adjust your portfolio allocation based on changing valuations. Consider rebalancing your holdings to align with sectors or companies that show more favorable valuations and growth potential. This may involve reducing exposure to sectors with overextended valuations and increasing exposure to sectors with more reasonable valuations, bear market phase, low P-E ratios, value investing opportunities, in a bear market phase with low P-E ratios. Focus on value investing strategies. Look for companies with solid fundamentals, strong balance sheets, and attractive dividend yields. Seek out companies that are temporarily undervalued due to market conditions but have the potential for recovery in the long term, defensive sectors, defensive sectors, such as consumer staples, healthcare, and utilities, tend to perform relatively better during bear markets. Consider allocating a portion of your portfolio to defensive sectors to help mitigate downside risk and provide stability during market downturns, long-term perspective, be patient and adopt a long-term perspective during bear markets. Remember that market downturns can present buying opportunities for investors with a long-term horizon. Avoid making impulsive decisions based solely on short-term market fluctuations, monitoring and adjusting, regularly review valuations, continuously monitor P-E ratios and other valuation metrics to assess the overall market and individual stocks. Regularly review your portfolio holdings to ensure they align with your investment strategy and risk tolerance. Consider other factors. While the P-E ratio is a valuable metric, it should not be the sole determinant of investment decisions. Consider other factors such as company fundamentals, industry trends, macroeconomic conditions, and qualitative aspects when adjusting your investment strategy. Seek professional advice. If you're unsure about adjusting your investment strategy based on the P-E ratio or navigating different market phases, consider seeking advice from a financial advisor or investment professional. They can provide personalized guidance based on your financial goals, risk tolerance, and market conditions. Remember, adjusting your investment strategy based on the P-E ratio requires careful analysis, consideration of multiple factors, and a long-term perspective. It's essential to stay informed, remain disciplined, and adapt your strategy as market conditions evolve.